In addition to working with vector-based artwork, the AI to Canvas plugin also works well with bitmaps. So let's place a star field. So I'll start by creating a new layer. I'll double-click the layer and give it a name called stars. I'll also make it look like a JavaScript function name and click OK. And let's move that layer so it's beneath the rocket. I'll pull down the file menu and choose place and choose the stars.jpg image to place on my document. Now to embed this bitmap into the AI file, I'll click the embed button in Adobe Illustrator CS5. Let's continue by creating some more layers. We'll create a new layer, double click, and call this layer Sun. Again, I'll make it look like a JavaScript function name. I'll choose File, Place, and grab the sun.ping file. And while we're at it, let's move our spaceship over to the side. I'll create another layer, double click, and call this layer Earth. I'll choose File, Place, and place the earth.png file. And let's move the earth out of the way of the sun here. I'll create one more layer, double click it and call it moon. Click OK. And on this layer we will place an image of the moon. And again we'll move it out of the way of the sun. I'll pull down the file menu and choose export. Make sure that I've chose the canvas file type. Click Save, and we'll say yes, we want to overwrite the file. It will export, open up my default browser, in my case again I'm using Internet Explorer 9, and we'll see the document laid out as we'd expect. Now if I right click and choose View Source, if we look at the source, and I'll scroll to the bottom of this document, you'll notice that the stars PNG file, which was embedded in the file, was exported as a new file and linked here. And the other three files that we left on disk are actually links to those files on disk. So what we've shown here is that I can include bitmaps, I can transform and move them, I can use both embedded images and linked to images, and the plugin will handle everything correctly.